welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. For some of you building Oracle Math applications, this might be your first exposure to Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse, or OPI in short. So let's take a few minutes to show you around the IDE, and then we'll show you how you can create your first math application. OPI is an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, for building applications. You can build different kinds of applications in OPI, but of course we're going to focus on how you can build mobile applications using Oracle Math. One of the benefits of using OPI as your development IDE is that there are quite a number of different views you can use to work on your application. In Eclipse, a perspective is a collection of views, each designed to make working with a specific type of application easier. OPI ships with an Oracle Math perspective for math development. When you launch OPI, you will see a number of different windows that show different views of the applications and project files you're working on. So now that we've applied the Oracle Math perspective, let's see what an application looks like. First, let's look at the Project Explorer. This panel shows you the files, folders, and projects that make up your application. Each Math application is composed of a minimum of three Eclipse projects. In this example, employee, employee application, and employee view. These projects contain all of the source code and artifacts needed for your application. Next is the mobile application editor. In this editor, you define the basic configuration of the mobile application, import reusable features, and integrate with third-party Cordova plugins, which are APIs used to access device services such as a camera, email, calendar, and others. The mobile feature editor is the starting point for math development. A math feature is an entry point to a mobile application's content. That content may be composed of either an AMX page or a task flow which is made up of multiple AMX pages in sequence. In this editor, you create features which will serve as the entry point to your content. The Math Task Flow Editor allows you to define the navigation and control between Math AMX pages. In this application, it defines navigation between the Employee List page and the Graph page, as well as navigation between the Employee List page and the Picture page. The Math AMX Page Editor allows you to build pages using UI components declaratively by dragging them onto the Page Editor. On the left-hand side, there's a palette of components that can be dragged into the main editor window. This is typically the UI components you will be working with, such as buttons, checkboxes, and others, or for diagrams, such as task flows, it might be pages and navigation rules. Components have properties that you can set. For example, a button component might have properties such as text label, icon, rendering conditions, and so on. There's a Data Controls panel where you can find the defined data sources for your application. In our application, you can see the Employee Service, which contains employees' data. And finally, there's a Console window, which alerts you to any compilation errors or errors during deployment. The Console also streams any log messages from the connected emulator or device. If you accidentally close a view or the math perspective, you can reopen them via the Window Show View or Window Open Perspective menu. So now you're ready to create your first Oracle Math application. So what do you need to do? Well first, right mouse click in the Project Explorer and from the context menu select New Math Application and click OK. OP will then ask you to define some basic information about the application including its name, the default project prefix, and package name. By default, three projects are created, the assembly project, the application project, and the view project. If you like, you can always change the names of these projects to meet your company's naming standards. A project is simply a container for the application source code. So let's look at why you get three. The default application OP creates for you has three projects. Now there's nothing to stop you from adding other projects, and you probably will, but the default is three. The first of these is called the assembly project. This project has OP-specific metadata 
that establishes the relationship between this project and the related application and view projects. Generally speaking, this project will contain any configuration files used for describing and configuring the overall application, including the mathapplication.xml descriptor file. This is called an assembly project because it contains the build and deploy artifacts related to the deployment of the MAF application. The next project is called the application project by default. As a rule, you would use this project for any source files you develop that are shared across all parts of the application. For example, some common helper code or code that participates in the life cycle of the application. This project also contains the device data control that is an abstraction over the device specific features. The Cordova Java API is abstracted through this data control, enabling the application features implemented as MAF AMX to access various services embedded on a device. The View project is where you would typically start developing the application pages and the features and functionalities around those pages. So that could be pages of a mobile application UI, configuration files, business logic and Java files, icons, or images. Now when you run a mobile application, you may have noticed some application characteristics. For example, the application has a name that you see next to its launch icon. A math application can also use a built-in menuing system, which uses something called a springboard or a navigation bar or a nav bar. You can define the name of your application and decide which pages of your application you want to appear on the springboard or the nav bar. All of this information is defined in an application configuration file called mathapplication.xml, which is located in the assembly project. The mobile application editor is accessed from the math node of the assembly project. So the purpose of the mathapplication.xml file is to define application level configuration information. Let's take a look in a little more detail about what kind of information you can define. Firstly, there is general information about the application. Here you can define the name of the application as it appears on your device. You can also define a unique ID in the form of a reverse package name. This helps prevent any naming collision and ensures that an application called, for example, employee, is unique within your organization or unique across any organization which may also develop a similarly named application. The registered features node shows which features are included in your application and define whether the feature should appear on the navigation bar or on the springboard. In the navigation node, you can specify whether your application should show a navigation bar or a springboard. For a springboard, you can customize it a bit by deciding to animate it or not, set a specific width, show a toggle button, and so on. On the device access node, you can then define which device features such as phone, camera, SMS, emails, contacts, etc. are accessible to the application. By default, the application locks down access to device features. Each feature must request access to a particular device feature. Then at the application level, you can decide if you want to grant access to that particular feature. Of course, security is a topic in its own right, but the security node is where you configure it for your application. First, you can define whether you want to use the default login page or if you want to use custom login page to authenticate your users. Next, you can define which features are authenticated against which login servers. And you can further define any URLs or domains your application might access, which can be designated to a whitelist which means that they are safe to be opened within your application. Preferences is something you will learn about later, but for an introduction, it is the ability to define placeholders or variables that can be set at runtime by the user. Your application code can reference these variables or placeholders and so can access the preferences chosen by the user. For example, you might define a preference for a field color which the user can set at runtime. Then in your code, all of your text fields will use this preference for the value of that background color. The last option relates to an advanced topic, and that is the support of something called plugins. Plugins allow you to integrate third-party native add-ons such as barcode scanning. So that was a quick tour around the mathapplication.xml file, which allows you to configure application-level information. 
You've also had a quick tour around the OP IDE and created an empty math application with a few default projects. I hope this has been helpful for you. Please join us for the next episode, and thanks again for watching.